This week we take an in-depth look into the art of Marcel Brotaars. He takes everyday objects and finds a way to incorporate them into a conversation through their simplicity and abstract beauty. When you see the Grand Casserole de Moule, there is something really blunt to it. It's standing on the floor. It's a rather monumental big thing. The, 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 the plate is on top of it. You see the, the, the muscles are, are like wide open. And you can be fascinated by it like you're fascinated by a Brillo box of Andy Warhol. It's like a kind of real thing which is standing in front of you. Nothing as being handmade. So he took the things which were around him. He took the food he was eating. He took something which was in his house. But at the same time, he connected to this another meaning, which refers to the, the word mul having this double meaning. Mul as the thing we eat. But on the other hand, mul also refers to a very classical sculptural procedure. The castle of the mul can be the starting point. To, to have a relationship with Brotaars, to have a love affair with Brotaars, to have a professional relationship with Brotaars. And then a form of inspiration is coming through. If you start to look at one work, then it provokes immediate reaction to the other work, and to the other work, and to the way how he's dealing with the museum, how he's reflecting on language, how he's like reflecting on the identity of the artist, how he's reflecting on the notion of, um, of his uh, autograph, how his reflection on the artwork as a concept, not as something being handmade, and so on and so on. He had something like a kind of a, the qualities of a dandy or a gentleman. Some people describe him as an, as an eagle, as someone who is like really proud and certain intelligence. But at the same time, I think he has uh, capacities of a shaman. Maybe he was a believer in a kind of search for a form of absolute freedom, of opening up definitions, of opening up classifications, of opening up, you know, the, the fact that in our society, things are being decided or generated by forms of certainty and not forms of uncertainty, which could lead to other and even better solutions and resolutions. Still today, a number of young generation of artists are celebrating the work of Marcel Brotaar, are still triggered to know Brotaars better, to understand Brotaars, to grasp Brotaars. But this is something which is hardly possible, and that makes it so fascinating. You know, I'm not reading the Bible, but one should read every day Marcel Brotaars even if it's difficult. <laughs> <laughs>